Hey there, friends. Ever wondered why some birds pack their bags and go on epic trips across the world? Well, today, let's dive into the amazing journey of migrating birds. First things first, what is migration? Migration is when birds travel from one place to another, usually because of changes in the weather or to find food. Imagine packing up your things and going on a summer vacation. That's kind of what birds do, but they do it for survival. Let's talk about why they migrate. Birds migrate to find food, escape the cold, and find the best places to raise their babies. When winter comes and it gets too cold, food becomes super hard to find. So birds fly to warmer places where food is plenty and the weather is just right. Now, how do they know where to go? Birds use the sun, stars, and even the Earth's magnetic field to navigate. Some birds can travel thousands of miles without getting lost. It's like they have a built-in GPS. One cool bird is the Arctic Tern. This little bird holds the record for the longest migration, flying from the Arctic to the Antarctic and back again. That's a whopping 44,000 miles every year. But how do they stay strong during such long journeys? Birds eat a lot before they leave to build up their energy. Some even take breaks along the way to rest and refuel. It's kind of like stopping at a gas station during a road trip. And guess what? Not all birds migrate. Some birds can handle the cold and find food even in the winter. These birds are called resident birds. Pretty neat, huh? So the next time you see birds flying in a V formation, you'll know they're on a special journey. They're following ancient paths guided by the stars and the earth itself. Amazing, right? Remember, every bird has a story and a reason for their journey. They teach us about the wonders of nature and the incredible things creatures can do to survive. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you liked learning about migrating birds, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome nature stories. See you next time. Bye. I'm